Yeah. I think you might have to dig it this time. Let's find some firewood. Det er jo smart at lave sådan noget her.
Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today I'm in this Viking shelter I used many times before and today I have Tristan with me. It's been a long time since I have made a movie or a video where Tristan is in. So you can see if you look back, he's grown quite a, a bit and he's a, a young man now. And uh, the same about Cornelius. It's been a while since I have him. Uh, on my videos and now he's grown to be a bigger dog. He's still a puppy, only seven months, but yeah. We're going to make some uh, food out here. First we'll start with, um, with the sausages. It's lunchtime now and um, later in the evening I'll make a Viking stew uh, that I made before, but there's some extra ingredients in today. So. I hope you enjoy and hope you will follow us on this little adventure. Uh, Cornelius, Tristan and me. Delicious, yes. cooking I don't need a head camera load back and forth for the
Yeah, then uh, I'll start by making some uh, dough for flatbreads. Uh, some wheat flour, some honey, some uh, oil, some uh, salt, then add a little water at the time. And then it just has to be mixed together, this. I have to make two flatbreads, so I'm making a big portion here. Perhaps a little bit more flour. Yeah, and then I can begin using my hands. Like this. Still a little bit wet, so a little bit more flour. And then uh, I let it rest for a little while, and then I make the flatbreads. I don't have any baking powder or anything in this, so it won't be much bigger than this. Yeah. Then I'll let it rest for about 10 minutes and uh, then I'll make the flatbreads. And this is cabbage that uh, Tristan is cutting after the carrots. Now we're gonna peel this on the onion mm -hmm. for the stew. And then uh, some bacon here that I have to slice in big pieces. And I think we'll we'll take three pieces here. And then into these cuts. And 
this uh, smoked bacon will add some flavor to the stew. A lot of flavor. flavor. So now we have all the ingredients for the stew and uh, I'm going to finish the flatbreads. A little bit of flour here and then I'll take half of the dough. And then I have this stick that I use to make it flat. Like this, and then the other one. Yeah, this will do. Just put it over here, and then I'll just show you the ingredients in this um, meal. Okay, so here we got the so here we've got all the ingredients for the meal that we're making. We've got the flatbread, we've got the cabbage, we've got the carrot, we've got the bacon, and we've got the onion. Yeah, and then we put it in the cauldron and uh, with some oil and uh, salt, and then we are good to go. But first, we'll make the flatbreads. Yeah, looking good. Some people are saying to me I have to put oil on the pan and uh, uh, bake them that way, but uh, that's not the, the right way to make a uh, Viking flatbread. It has to be a, a dry pan, so like if it's in an oven, if you come oil on it, more like cake, because the, the dough will absorb the, the, the moisture from the from the oil and that's not what we are going to use here. We want we want a hard surface and uh, yeah. So make it on a on a dry pan. So now I think this is finished. Just take it off and put the the other one on. Yeah. Now the two flatbreads are finished. Just put them over here and um, take this one. And then Tristan will come with the with the oil first. Yeah. Yeah, master. Thank you, Prowl. <laughs> Some oil in. And then the bacon. Thank you. Yeah, and then the onions. Can you take them, Tristan? Yeah, thank you. Not too much salt because the salt in the bacon. So 
Marie Cornelius. Mm. And then in a short while we have to put the cabbage and carrots in. Yeah, and now for the cabbage and the carrots. Flatbread, yeah. The meat, do you like it? Yeah. Mines. Well, I like the vegetable part. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of the bacon, though. Okay. You can save that for Cornelius. I think you'll be happy for that. You can put it on here, donation for Cornelius. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A good taste because of the bacon. Makes mm -hmm. good, uh, strong taste, the vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well folks, this is all for now. Thank you for watching Kimba Bushcraft. And Tristan is actually making a, a YouTube uh, channel called uh, TMO Bushcraft. And uh, I put a link to that. Uh, he's going to make his first video soon, but uh, perhaps first in a couple of weeks you can see uh, a video from this uh, trip to, uh, to the Black Forest here. Yeah. Cornelius has been a bit uh, anxious today because there was some horses here and uh, he just barked and barked and we had to put him on lease again and uh, now we're going home so we can relax in the car yeah thank you for watching us uh, on our little adventure here it was mostly uh, cooking I uh, hope you enjoyed that we have enjoyed it right Tristan yes yeah, so yeah. Especially oh. eating it. Yeah. <laughs> it tasted good. Yeah. Hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care.